Come on, kids. Let's go. Come on, Jennifer. Jennifer, get off your phone now. Come on, Jennifer. Oh, my God. Why don't we all have to go to therapy? Isn't, Isn't every family dysfunctional? They're your kids. <laughs> Mr. Spinola, do you love your family? Do you love your son? Mr. Spinola. Mr. Mr. Spinola! Look, doctor. Ever since we got the diagnosis of him being on the... The diagnosis of who? Of Jordan. Ever since we got the diagnosis of Jordan being on the autism spectrum, I I'm just trying to figure out how to make it. Until the blowout at the family reunion, I had no idea what Jordan's condition was doing to our family. It's not a condition, okay? But we'll revisit that, please. Tell me about the reunion. What happened? My auntie called me a freak because of a scratchy shirt. Tell me about Jennifer, mom, and dad. The shirt was scratchy. I'm not a freak. You're absolutely right. Jordan, you're not a freak. Okay? I'm not a freak. I don't know why she would say that. I mean, what is so important about a stupid shirt that Jordan can't be in the picture without? And then it's not just Jordan, it's, it's Jennifer. She keeps talking back more and more. And then Joe, he's frustrated because I forgot to pick him up from the airport. I mean, what kind of wife forgets about her husband? It sounds like you're a bit overwhelmed. Would that be a fair statement? It goes deeper than that. Everything revolves around Jordan. I have no identity of my own. Well, it seems like to me you are a good big sister. I hear you saying your family leans on you to be a buffer between Jordan and the rest of the world. Maybe they also look to you to understand him and forget that you are a kid too, with needs of your own. Yeah, I guess. But Dr. Hunt, why is it my responsibility to be a link between him and my family? Mom's basically at war with everyone right now. <laughs> I mean, you should have seen her at the family reunion. She went off on my auntie. Too bad dad wasn't there. When is he ever? I like blueberries. It's pretty cool that you like blueberries. How much does it cost to talk to you? Jordan, don't worry about how much it costs, okay? I just want to get a sense of how things are going at home. Uncle Mac is like Rico Suave. He's smooth and cool with the girls. And he takes me out for chocolate cake. It sounds like you really like your Uncle Mac. He even likes pepperoni on his pizza. But mom and dad seem to yell a lot. Dad sleeps on the couch. And Jennifer cries in her closet when she thinks that nobody's listening. How does that make you feel? How does that make me feel? I thought I could fix him. I mean, Jordan, um, that the autism would eventually go away. I stopped being there for my boy, for my daughter, for my family. I blamed myself, but you know, my, my wife wasn't helping. She made me feel as if I no longer mattered. What do you want from your wife? What would you say to her if she was sitting right here, right now? I want to be a kid, you know, and not have to worry about my brother so much. Like, I want to talk about boys or like fashion trends or getting my hair done. So what are you grateful for? I guess my friends and family, even though they take advantage of me and like don't notice me. So it sounds like you're the one that everyone turns to in a crisis. But I hear you saying that you want to set this aside and just be a kid for a while. Yeah, 
got that right. Just good to have someone, I mean, listen to me and understand me. I do understand, but I advise you not to try and take the whole world on your shoulders. What do you do for yourself? What do you do to uplift your spirits? Meditation? Yoga? I guess I can get up even earlier to meditate. Okay, okay, meditation it is. And when I write in my journal, I can write down what I'm grateful for before I fall asleep. And I could even refocus my energy on my husband too. Now we got something to look forward to. Thanks again, Dr. Hunt. I'm gonna give that support group you mentioned a try. At least it leaves me with some hope that one day a deeper connection with Jordan might be possible. Until then, I'm going to hold on tight to my girls and remind them that I love them more than they know. I don't feel dysfunctional anymore. Uh, this autism is something I can handle, something my family can handle. Now that we've taken some time to learn about it, we don't have to be afraid. Oh, Jordan. Oh Jordan, tell me how's it going? Rocking with the family and you know how we rolling. We got Joe, Jennifer and Jane, they gon' keep you entertained. Without my boy Jordan, it just wouldn't be the same. Oh Jordan, a family this dysfunctional. So can you both lean forward on Isn't Every Family Dysfunctional? There you go, one, two, three. Isn't Every Family Dysfunctional? Uh, you need us, oh Jordan, let's go. Thank <laughs> you.